she? Well, that means one of two things. Either you are seriously ill, or you have had another problem with Lou. to ask you either you're sick or you've had a problem with Rick. Touche. Uh, was I right? It's neither. I'm perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Oh, yeah, right. All right. I will admit I like it better when he's here. But let's face it, pal, you are the one who has not exactly been what you might call a bundle of joy around here lately. I'll be fine. Will be. Present tense. Not in that sentence. What is wrong? Can I help? No, nothing's wrong. Hi! What's going on? Hi. Nothing is going on. What makes you think anything is going on? Well, this sure is a fun little group we have here. What are you guys doing? Just being bums? I, myself, personally, have made a choice. This is my day off. If I want to bum around, I certainly can. What is your excuse? For what? For being home. Would you get fired? I work the early shift. Oh. Now let's hear yours. My what? Your excuse for uh, sitting around. Aren't you supposed to be at work? Yeah. I'll tell you the truth, I'd rather be fishing with Rick. <sighs> so would I. But I thought you loved your job. I do. It's great. Yeah, you really sound like it. If you ask me... Which nobody did, Amy. If you ask me, it's not the job that's the problem. It's his dear, sweet Louisa. Knock it off. Don't touch me. See, I hit a nerve. But, 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 could I just give you a little word to the wise here? Knock it off. He is not in a mood to be trifled with. I'm going to go get dressed. <coughs> you know, Angel Child, sometimes you have an absolute genius for saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. All I did was ask about Lou. Which is not his favorite subject at the moment. It's always his favorite subject. If he'd face it. Face what? What everybody knows. He's crazy about her. I'm sure you could have... This is a July picnic with fun and all, but I think last year's was definitely better. Thank you. I don't know about that. Last year, I worked a whole lot harder. I was making chicken for days. Well, actually, that's not really fair. I had help last year. I had Rick was helping, Alice was helping. It's weird, isn't it? I mean, without her. I really miss her. I do, too. I know. I miss her a whole lot. Hey! We were just talking about the 4th of July picnic yesterday. Did you and Lou have a fun time together? How should I know, Amy? I wasn't with her. You weren't? No, he wasn't, and you know it perfectly well. Now, stop that. I forgot. That's all. That's right! He spent the whole day... She spent the whole day with Tommy Hardy, huh? Okay, Amy, keep it up, huh? Keep it up, big mouth. I'm just commenting, that's all. You are putting your mouth in gear before engaging your brain, as usual. Don't you have something else to do? No, what? Because I would like to talk to Blackie before he goes to work. Feel free, you live here, too. Watch my lips, Amy. Alone. Fine, fine, just say so. I mean, really, it doesn't take a ton of bricks to fall on me. You could only be so lucky. Oh. So you want to tell me something? No, I want to ask you something. Okay, what? I, I was right. It's Lou. That girl is driving me straight up a wall. Well, that's just because you care. I know I care, but I don't understand, man. This girl has got problems with men, and that's all. Such as? Well, I, like, I'm, like when I'm together with her, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's the right moment to kiss her, right? Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I do. I can, I can reach back in the dim recesses and remember those feelings. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't. I don't kiss the girl. Why not? I don't know. I, I, I'm just confused when I look at her, man. I don't know if she's going to like it or if she's going to kick my front teeth out. Yeah, well, she can be a little touchy, I know. Touchy? The girl is paranoid. I'm sorry. I mean, look what happened with Rick. Well, now, that was different, Blackie. That was a misunderstanding. Yeah, well, I'm misunderstood. What the hell is going on with this girl? Are you asking me for a professional opinion? Yeah, all right. Okay. 
Uh, they say that the past is prologue. And I think in this particular case, her past leads directly to those feelings you're talking about now. Well, how come? Because I think that she's had some pretty rough times with men. Rougher than we know. She's been on her own a long time, and maybe for a lot longer time than we know. Yeah, it could be years, huh? Yes, it could. And when you're young, and you're pretty, and you're vulnerable, and you're on the streets, boy, you can attract a whole lot of weirdos, and you can get really hurt. Mm, I see. Yeah. I think she's been hurt. I think she's been hurt real bad. Mm -hmm. but, but why won't she open up to me? I, mean, I know she trusts me. I, I just don't understand why she won't open up. Well, if you hurt badly enough, sometimes you just don't want to talk about it. Maybe not for years. And not even to somebody that you trust. You know there is one other possibility here that we haven't even considered. What's that? You think that she's real experienced with guys, because she talks that way, right? Yeah, you should hear her sometimes. Did you ever consider that maybe it's just an act? Why would she want to put on an act? Well, because she was living in a really rough world, and maybe that was the only way she knew to survive. Oh, you mean like talking about sex and everything? Exactly. Talking about it. Talking about it as a kind of a way of protecting herself. Well, why would she do that? Because maybe under that tough-talking exterior, there is just a very scared little girl. 